Hey, how you doing there again, folks? You got, of course, Brandon Wenzel. Come back at you. Another offering off my sampler platter. <gasps> yes, indeed, folks. I am platter video series of videos I've been doing for a while. I go over there, trap food, and drink items. I eat the stuff, I drink the stuff, then I talk about the stuff. I let you know all that you need to know about hopefully delicious stuff that, you know, I'm going to go over there, I'm going to try, and while I do it, I'm in a truck. You can see I'm in a truck. I'm not always in the truck. Sometimes I'm in a truck. About half the time I'm in the truck. Let's stop talking about the truck. I also like to wear cool shirts. I don't always get to wear a cool shirt, but half the time I get to wear a cool shirt. Today I'm wearing a cool shirt. What cool shirt am I wearing? It's for a band called Stellar Circuits. I've gone over there. I have uh, talked about this band in a number of my intros to my videos. Really, really love these guys. They're out of North Carolina. Extremely cool guys. If you happen to be interested, uh, I actually have some, uh, oh, some concert footage. Uh, I've seen them perform a few times. It's on this channel. So if you're interested, just look up my channel, look for Stellar Circuit stuff. Or, even better option, go check out their Bandcamp or, uh, oh, uh, you know, their YouTube channel, all that good stuff. So, but extremely cool guys, really great music. Anyway, what am I trying for y'all today, folks? Well, so I was at a little bit of a loss somewhat recently. Like, I've, I've, got, I've always got a bunch of stuff to review, but I kind of, it was one of those things where, like, I needed to review something, but I didn't want to do an in-the-house review. Um, I, I, like, I like reviewing from inside the house, but, like, there's just a little bit more that goes into it versus doing the truck. The truck is just a little bit easier. So I wanted to do a truck review, and I was like, well, you know, I'll get, find an item, you know, something to review. And basically what I came up with was this, folks. Well, boom and boom. Yes, indeed, folks, we have, these are new items from Taco Bell. It's one item, but two varieties. This is the Cheesy Double Beef Burrito. Classic style. Spicy style. Yeah, can you see? Yeah, there you go. They were nice enough to label them. I appreciate that. I didn't even ask for that. So, I don't know how super interesting this is going to be. I mean, I've done stuff from Taco Bell before. I did their uh, awful uh, chicken sandwich uh, tacos that they had a while back. I watched that video. It was funny. Um, I did the Mexican pizza recently, which they are sold the fuck out of. <laughs> so, apparently, I'm personally going to attribute it entirely to my video, even though I think it only has like 66 views and there's like eh, a few billion people on the planet. I think it's all me. Just saying. But, uh, you know, typically I try to do like an item that like is not only new, but like hopefully it'll be interesting. I don't know how interesting these are going to be, but they'll probably at least be good because typically I like Taco Bell. So we're going to start with the classic, then we'll move on to the spicy as I so feel. And the thing is too, I actually, because I'd seen that they're going to be adding something to their menu. Um, and so when I went there, I saw the two things, and it's like listing them as new. And I was like, oh, cool, you know, two new items. And it's like, oh, it's just same thing, just different take. Very warm. So let's give this a go, folks. Like I said, it's probably going to be my most interesting video, but who cares? says right now I like this a lot um it's doing a number of things that I'm a big fan of Taco Bell burritos which yeah folks they're not great burritos or anything like that there's so many great little tankeria places around me with amazing food I even did a oh I did a, yeah, I did a sampler platter video for a place called El Mirador that's not too far away from me like over a year ago now. So, but Taco Bell is Taco Bell. It is what it is. It's what you're here to watch a video for. So, uh, but it does things that I really like. For one thing, it's very cheesy. There's some cheese in there. I'm a big fan of that. Uh, number two, it's beefy. Big fan of that. Here's the kicker though. Number one, they use rice. I like rice in a burrito. I don't care if it's traditional or whatever, rice in a burrito. I'm a big fan. I love rice. Other thing, they're also doing that thing that they do occasionally with their burritos where there's like Fritos in it. 
and I like that. I like the crunch. I like the added, you know, experience. So I like this burrito so far, unless it massively takes a turn with the next bite or two that I take. Uh, I'm a fan, so. And kind of. Yeah. Oh. oh. Sorry. Friggin' sun is not helping me. Frito things. They're really good. Uh, yeah, I mean. I like the fact that you can bite into it. None of it tastes like filler. Um, I mean, some people might argue the rice is filler. I would not, because again, I really like rice. But they definitely packed a lot in there. And it, it all tastes good. That's the thing. Is it super amazingly different from like a typical Taco Bell item? No, no, it's not. It's really not. They definitely didn't reinvent the wheel. But what they did, at least for me, they took basically all the things that I like in a burrito, Taco Bell burrito anyway, and just crammed a lot of it into a burrito, which is exactly what I want. So, I mean, I, I'm personally down with it. I, yeah, it's, because they've done other, you know, newer burrito types. Um, there's like a Chipotle chicken one or whatever. And those are fine. But tend to be a little bit more minuscule. They're kind of like snacking burritos, I guess I would call them. Whereas with this, it's a burrito that got, you know, a little bit of half. They, they clearly wanted you to wolf this thing down and feel like you ate a burrito. Taco Bell burrito. Constant asterisk. But it is good. And say what you will about Taco Bell, like... It tastes fine. Like, it's, you know, if you're somebody who's familiar with Taco Bell, you know what you're going into. If you're somebody who's, you know, expecting authentic Mexican cuisine, obviously it's not that. But there is something to it. And I will... So here's the thing. Because Taco Bell gets a really bad reputation, especially for the after effects of Taco Bell. I will say this. By and large, Taco Bell doesn't mess with my stomach too much. It did one time. I got very bad food poisoning for about 24 hours. It was a very bad day. Uh, and it was definitely Taco Bell related. I actually did a Taco Bell breakfast review video that kind of dealt with that, if you're interested in that whole story. So, typically my Taco Bell experiences are pretty good. This is, I enjoy this. I would say, like, my go-to burrito at Taco Bell, because they always say they have the quesarito on their online menu. I haven't run into a Taco Bell that has the quesarito probably in at least a year or two. Uh, but so typically I just go with the beefy five layer, which is fine. Does what it needs to do. I would go with this over that personally, because it's just, it's more stuff that I like. So that's the classic one. Let's do the spicy. I'm hoping that I'll like this one even more. Typically, I enjoy spicy stuff, so. Now, here's the thing, though. It depends on how they opted to make it spicy. Remember back when they had the chicken sandwich tacos, all they did to make it spicy was add on, like, you know, a couple little shitty uh, jalapeno peppers. So, hopefully, that's not what they did here. Burrito! They definitely did add peppers in. I don't know if you can see it, but right there. But, compared to the pitiful outing that was the uh, chicken sandwich taco, these actually kind of work in there. Not only is it giving a little heat, You're also getting the um, the taste of the pepper, and it's it's actually a really nice pepper to, uh, flavor. Even with everything else that's going on, it does a good job of pushing through. Ooh, I like this. 
Well, <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm very much down for this. Um, and I do prefer this over a standard one. Now, to anybody who might be interested in trying it, it depends, obviously, on what you want. The classic one, because it doesn't have that spice, it doesn't have the pepper to kind of go over there and punch through the flavor, you're getting more of the individual elements. Uh, you know, you tasting more of the rice, more of the beef. With this, like I said, because you got that, you know, it's not overwhelming everything. I personally think it's doing a pretty nice job of complementing most of this stuff. But I'm definitely not tasting the individual elements as much, which is to be expected. Again, it's, you know, big punchy flavor. Um, but it's, it, I mean, a big part of it would come down to whether or not, you know, you want spicy stuff. Typically, if you don't, I would imagine you wouldn't order it anyway. But to that end, how spicy is spicy? For me, it's not bad. There is a kick to it. It is not a substantial kick. It is not a kick that lingers to any substantial degree. Like, it's it's still a little bit in my mouth, but not a lot. I can't imagine eating this whole burrito is going to particularly damage me in any way, but it will go over there and give it a nice enough kick. And I think that in that, excuse me, in that regard, I think they did a good job with this burrito. Because uh, it, taking all the things that I liked about the first one, but adding in just enough spice where... Yeah, it's spicy, you know, and it it's obviously it's not going to go over there and uh, throw somebody off who's, you know, particularly, you know, attuned to spicy stuff. You know, I mean, I try, I, you know, I'd go with some of that stuff, but I'm clearly not. I've done the one chip challenge and the death nut challenge. Those are both videos on this channel. Go ahead and watch them. Uh, I'm not that guy, but I enjoy spicy stuff. So for me, it's a very good level of spicy. I could go spicier, but... I think it works really well for this burrito, and I think it does a good job of letting the... Sorry, it's super goddamn hot out, and I can't... Oh, no! <laughs> My apologies! I just realized that the uh, air conditioning was on. So, sadly, the video might be a little bit shitty at the start. Sorry! Uh, I, I can't uneat the burritos at this point, and I don't want to go get more. Uh, but yeah, no, I think that they, like I said, I think the, the spice level is good. I think it adds to the overall experience of the burrito. I personally like the spicier one more than the normal one, but I like both of them quite a bit. Like these are honestly, as someone who is a fan of Taco Bell in general, I really want them to bring back a lot of the old items. I, they did this whole thing where they're like, ah, we're going to get rid of a bunch of stuff. We're going to focus on combos. No one cares. No one cares. How did that work out for you? Uh, guy who was in charge of that decision? Fucking tool. Typically don't like to be mean, but like, yeah, no, fuck that guy. Whoever the hell that idiot was, eh, no. So, having these on the menu, at least for me, I, I like. So, I, I would recommend them. They're not super holy shit amazing, but they're honestly two better Taco Bell items. So, I, yeah, I... I'm down for it. So anyway, folks, that's going to do it for this video. Good five things before I get out of here. Have yourself a great rest of your day. Spectacular rest of your week. Monumental rest of your month. Stupendous rest of your year. You can go over there and have yourselves a double cheesy, beefy, with spice burrito rest of your life. Because this might actually be the best item on the Taco Bell uh, menu for me personally at this point. So, bold claim I know. File two things for me, folks. Number one, try to bring some positivity in the world. It's not always possible. It is, however, uh, always appreciated, even if it doesn't always feel like it sometimes. But what do you do if you can do it all the time? I know I can't do it all the time. Here's what you do, folks. You try not to be an asshole. Okay, me earlier has been a little bit of an asshole. I went over there, called a guy I've never met a tool, and to be fair, it might not be. It could be a lady. It could be someone who's gender fluid, non-binary, you know, what have you. So to that person, you're still a tool, regardless of what the hell you refer to yourself as, which I'm all, 
I am all in the respectfulness of that. You're just bad at your job. That's all I'm saying. And hopefully you were fired. But hopefully you found something that you're better at. It's more fulfilling. So you turn it around a little bit less assholishness. Mitigate the level of assholishness in your life. Very final thing, folks, do the thing. Whatever the thing is for you, that's what I want you to go out and do. Maybe you're going to go over there and you're going to fly over at Taco Bell as their marketing instructor in charge of menu items. And you're going to go over there and you're going to get the beefy potato burrito back and the cantina burrito and the, the volcano menu. Let's get these things back. Or, conversely, you could do something like way more productive than that, like, uh... I don't know, you could go over there and plant some flowers around your house. All with the bees and birds, the, the, all the pretty stuff. Bye.